Hello, my name is Duncan. I'm a data engineer with Westloop Strategy, an AWS partner. Today for our AWS Analytics Expert Series, I'm gonna be talking about using KPIs in your QuickSight dashboard. KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators, these visuals are really simple and an effective way to communicate a multitude of metrics in your dashboard. For us and our clients, we really love being able to use them and customize them to fit into many different niches for our business needs or our clients' business needs. So for example, I have my KPI metric here. I can easily go from having a metric that just shows total sales to being able to show week over week or even month over month. And I haven't had to create any sort of calculated field to do that. All I need to do is go into the field well and then change the date aggregate. Another key customizability aspect is the ability to change how our metric or the value of our metric is being shown and measured or defined. So what I can do is in the properties menu, I can go to the KPI options, decide whether I want my primary value to be the actual value or maybe a comparison. And we can update that value to show as a percent or difference as a percent. I also can include a sparkline visual at the bottom with a tooltip that adds more capabilities and adds more customizability options on just a single visual. Finally, we can also do some conditional formatting right here in the visual properties menu to update how our visual is graphically displaying value changes. Colors can also be changed and I can actually change how the threshold works so that maybe a specific number means it's good, no change or lower. I can make all those changes right here in the conditional formatting menu. Thanks for joining me today. To find out more about how we help our clients use AWS cloud technology or to schedule your own QuickSight training session with us, visit our website or follow us on LinkedIn.